Okay, welcome to Ricarte's Crossing. Okay, I'm going to start this week's study with the Voodoo Tarot. Okay, so I do want to do that. But I also want to dive a little bit into the Sibyllis Oracullum. Right, now this is split into four colours, four suits if you like. This is where I get a little bit tricky. In here we go. Into the four suits. So there's different ways of reading this deck, but mainly you want the four different colours as you can don't know if you can see that well, but there's a red, there's a purpley blue colour. There's a copper and there's black. Okay, so I love that. The um, Sibyllis Oracullum. And the Hoodoo Tarot. Now, the reason why I want to really get into the Hoodoo Tarot is I'm not a practitioner of Hoodoo. Never am, never will be. Okay, I got this deck because I'm always interested in learning and understanding different cultures. That's what it is about for me. Plus, also... The Hoodoo Tarot does have plant associations, and I really love my herbs, um, essential oils, etc. So that's the part of the reason why I really wanted to get into the Hoodoo Tarot. It was not a because I want to practice Hoodoo in any way. I am not a Hoodoo practitioner. I'm going to say that very, very clearly. This is about studying and learning a little bit about different cultures and this one for me sort of interests me and also because of the herb associations this is not about me practicing their holiday you know recognizing their sabbath you know their holidays sorry which are sabbaths but practicing their holidays or their religious days or anything like that that is not all about taking practice and in, in the hoodoo or voodoo aspect of it all this is just about the root work, the plants and the herbs really interest me. The imagery I think is beautiful. The, um, the characters that are used on the cards have a history, which always fascinated me and interests me. So I love that aspect of working with different decks from different cultures. It's not about practicing the culture in any way or, or um, trying to, to include that in my own practice. No, no, this is just about respect and understanding for the different cultures that are around the world. I have my own practice and it does not include um, hoodoo or anything like that. That is, or voodoo or anything like that type of practice is not in my, in my um, wheel of knowledge. So this is just about self-development. Um, I love that whole connection to learn and understand um, different cultures. And that's what this is about, about diving deep into these decks. is just about doing exactly that. So this is what I will be covering. So anyway, let's have a look at these cards here. As you can sort of see... I've got no idea what they mean or anything like that. Just, oops, for some reason I picked out two cards there. Might have been for a reason. So, let's have a look. What cards have I... Oh, I've got death here. That's definitely about things ending, isn't it? Transformation. Oh, and we've got transformation. We've got death and transformation. So, things ending and things changing quite rapidly. Here we have defense, so maybe we're feeling a little defensive with what's going on, or maybe we need to defend something. We might have some doubt going on here. And there's synthesis, so it's like things are combining, or ch again you've got that changing into something new, synthesis. So it is about something that's maybe a little bit more concentrated, and it's merged into something new, something different because of a process in some way. Oh, isn't it lovely? I love the way these decks connect. So let's have a look and see what the Hoodoo Tarot, what I get. 
I'm not looking at the book at the moment. I'm just sort of going through my own thoughts. Um, and as I study and I'll learn a little bit more, I'll write these down and I'll start to sort of explore a little bit. I'm just sort of looking at the basic tarot. So here we have six of coins. To me, that's giving unconditionally. But this, to me, looks like a little bit about gambling, about taking a bit of a risk. Um, you know, again, you're giving unconditional. Well, you're giving with conditions, really, because you're expecting to win. But um, it may not always happen that way. Here I have um, 15, okay? So in this 15 is normally what we would call the devil. So it's called talking about a, um, maybe some... Of um, addictions, transformations, and here we've got the sense of maybe we're chained to the world. And it's got Miss Robinson here, so I don't know anything about that yet. I need to explore that. Bristol's funeral home. And she looks like she's holding something that says RIP, rest in peace. So this is definitely, it feels a very, um, does actually feel like a sense of a death card in a way. Um, even though it is 15, it is what we would normally call the devil. So, interesting to sort of explore that on a deeper level. And here we have Bis Bishop C.H. Mason, and he's what we would normally call the um, Hierophant. So this one to me is like a spiritual leader or someone you can follow or learn from, develop. Maybe you're learning something, developing. So this should be quite interesting to have a look at. Here we have 14, which would normally be temperance. We have Father Sins, and he's pouring water into the other. So this is definitely about the blending and the merging. Definitely about um, being careful of not being in excess of things, allowing us this sense of um, everything coming together. So maybe the Six of Coins is about, again, I think that Doubt card comes into it in the play. I sort of see the the gambling and I sort of feel like all the dice and the money and that happening and it's sort of that you know, wishing for the thing but maybe a little bit of doubt might have crept in to the gambling a little bit it doesn't seem to be maybe that belief here you've got this rest and peace so I get the sense of an ending or definitely feel like maybe you're chained to the um, to your emotions to what's going on Maybe something, you know, you're chained to those that have passed in some way. Here you have that whole, um, just seeing what he's holding here. There's going to be something to, to explore here. A bit more, but definitely, so I feel that definitely about having faith, um, spiritual traditions. So maybe the traditions of the past are coming through into the present, and you're allowing yourself this merging or this blending of things, allowing things to just remind us to not be in excess, to have moderation in what we do as well can be part of the process. So it should be interesting to see what all these mean when I write them up, have a look a bit more. So really this is day one, sorting out my space for um, working with the Hoodoo Tarot and the Sibylla, Sibyllus or sorry, Sibyllus oraculum, oraculum, and just learning from this process. This is going to take me a little time to sort of dive deep into, to understand, to discover. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting journey. So that's it from me. Take care and blessed be.